Ciao guys and welcome back to Lamb Peace. As you can see, I'm deep in the farm on my parents' farm in northern Namibia. We're here for holidays and in this video we're going to show you village house tour. It's all about village life, village experience. We are going to upload all those content also later on because we have been here for about 10 days now. When I'm at the village, I'm always dressed in this uh, traditional dresses. It's most married women wear this, but I wear it mainly because it's very hot here. So these ones are very light material. They're not stinky to your skin and they are accommodating. You know, village life is about food all the time. Ali will confirm that <laughs> or meat all the time and also a lot of drinking traditional beer and the traditional soft drink so these are very accommodating you can just eat and eat and eat and nobody will know the difference yes so as you can see here um this is usually the rain season but this year there are not a lot of millet in the fields behind you where Ali is for example you can see it blends but it hasn't rained in i don't know how long so my parents feel like i think this year I think they might not harvest anything it's really a dry season and this is usually the I would say 90% of the village food is from millet flowers millet grains and maybe some sorghum so it might be it's going to be a very tough season at the beginning of the house here we have a marula tree which is a very important plant for the village people they use it to make a grappa or what is grappa of English a vodka liquor yes yeah and uh, also to make a soft drink and they use it also to make marula oil which I am sure you have seen in most of our videos and we are also going to leave a link up here for the marula oil making video and then if you can see also in the background we have a whole lot of palm palm trees and this we also use them to we eat a lot of palm fruits as well, fresh or dry. The fresh ones are very tasty, but the parents do not allow the kids to eat them. No. What I have in my hands here is what a village boy call a car. It's like a toy for village boys. And it's something very simple. You have just a wooden stock. Then you have two cans of soda that are squeezed or pushed together and a little bit of a rubber and you use this as a car they will just run after this when they are playing hey, let's go i'm going by car okay let's go I'm ready so this is just the entrance of their house and i'm in the house with the car which is usually not allowed by my mom and let's move on here you have the main tip but you won't see it because it's in the shade which is the water supply system for the whole house and then just parking area traditionally the parking area was never part of the house but i don't know since a few years ago then my parents prefer to park the cars inside the house because they also have shades here from the trees and from this parking area before that they didn't also have a car we had a donkey cart and it just stay under the marula the marula tree okay okay before i really enter the house i'm gonna leave this here because my mother won't be happy for making lines in the house and usually the first first place that you enter when you enter the traditional house is the living room and here we make fire every single evening is the fire of the house we make this immediately as soon as the sun set and that's also where we eat dinner and where we tell stories after dinner now things have changed a little bit that there's electricity in the house and we don't use this often but back in the days we ate dinner here every single night now as you can see here there is this here this material here is like an old lid from a pot and this is important we keep it here because it's for making fire you know and you can also see behind me there are like um, old kettle heads here. These are from my sister's wedding. 
just like uh, it's a sign of everybody who brought a kettle and who brought who slaughtered a kettle during when my sister got married and my father keep them here as as a reminder it's just something he is very proud of and he keep all the animal heads here to be honest kettles are not slaughtered for any for nothing so most of these are only from the wedding except maybe on special occasion when my father feels like yes he's going to slaughter a kettle then get the head and then put it here but most of them i would say 95 percent of these are all from my sister's wedding and my little niece is here what are you doing laura marapo nah Ewa. let's go okay now let's move in the middle of the house here we have another imported tree and this is called omwe and this is where you get embe you see in some of our video when we start unpacking things that we got from namibia it's a very common snake in northern namibia usually you can eat them fresh or dry the second important part of the house is the kitchen here we have always there's three bricks or traditionally it used to be clay pots and this is where we cook everything porridge meat boiling water like now we are boiling water to go take a shower because we want to go somewhere and my parents have now the open kitchen and inside here is another kitchen that they use for cooking lunch because it is very hot at the moment to cook lunch in, in without shade so they have this other area here where you also they use it for cooking lunch it's like dinner and in the morning for breakfast yeah. when it's whoa, 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 whoa. the sun is not so hot <laughs> and laura what are you doing now in the kitchen there's this and this is where we keep the traditional drink the non-alcoholic one i'm gonna go inside here and bring you something stay keep keep stand 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 It is a traditional drink that we make. A traditional drink that we make. Um, it doesn't really have alcohol. And this is anybody can eat it. Also the kids can eat them. And this is just a dry calabash that we use it as a container. Let me try this. Mm. It's nice and fresh. It's not ready but it's, I like it this way as well. Another important area. This is, let me say, this is now the actual living room. We sit around here every day after lunch. That's also where we have lunch and then we just chill. You know, we bring like mattresses and some material and just sleep on the ground. Or oh, my mother will be preparing marula oil. Or oh, we would be just telling Jekyll and Hyena stories with my cousins. It's like the actual living area at the moment. Here behind the living area is another important part of the house. Here. Look. This here is the place where we traditionally make uh, mahangu flour. And it's a mortar and then the pistols are outside. Mm -hmm. And this little pistols here is for, they're for my cousins. <laughs> the little ones for Laura. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's why she likes sticks. Yes, okay. Please come out. You are not even allowed to enter. This room here is now our room. However, before this, this used to be, or it is still the uh, Onjuo, is like the most important bedroom of the house. But my parents aren't sleeping in this. It's usually for special occasions if somebody is getting married or anything, a special occasion that is involve a lot of rituals. People come around this area, you sit here, you dance, you say some words and then you leave. But when we came, my parents were like, oh, if you want, you can sleep in there. And it's quite nice inside. We can't show you now because we didn't put our things in order, but it's quite nice. And they have also, 
which is very nice. And we have also really how many white drops? About, <laughs> about six white drops. Ah, oh, did you hear that? No. Our neighbor just say Monganda. Monganda means at home. Who is? Then you have to say Monganda. Laura. Now my mother have also a couple of gas tanks. I think we have about how many? Maybe three or four. She's using them for the stove, for baking, for cooking. In the afternoon, she want to prepare something very fast. Most of the time, also for making breakfast, like today when they made tea. And then inside the room is her small kitchen. But they, to be honest, they don't use the kitchen as much as the one that's outside. It's really on special occasion, like when she's not feeling well. This is where the first, first room my parents built. Now, let me say they are not functional anymore. They are really old, but they don't want them to be destroyed. It's a sign of the house and their hard work, because this is what they built the first time they old. They moved here and inside it just tools and wheelbarrows and all the stuff that they used to work in the field and here i mean it looks different now than the way i know it but right here come have a look this container here and so many others that are under the the tree this container here is for keeping the mahangu grains it's and behind here you have just little water containers for the chicken and this is the chicken feeding grounds mm -hmm. so what we would do normally you come inside here and then you open because it has this stuff this is the container but the i think this is sealed because you only open it when you are consuming the grains so you would open this take out the grains and then go out you have to be really careful because i think you don't know how these things are they're going to hurt you go down Yep, come out and then feed the chicken. So this is the chicken feeding ground. Now traditionally all this, because now they have a couple that are under the iron sheet. Before that everything was like this. Each is placed on its own and it's covered with this wool, um, touched roofs. But with climate change and with time, they don't have access to this material anymore. So they are now just putting this containers under the iron sheets and most family have already started putting the mahangu grains in uh, plastic containers because they can't find the material to make the traditional ones yes these are the shower places it's open shower there's no shower head you just go with a container like this you go with a container like this with water and you shower with your hands it's right here and we're going to go to another, I mean there are two shelves next to each other because one is for my parents and one is for us. And, and here is now the breakfast area. Everybody's having breakfast, some fruits, tea. Oh, what's in Bread. Bread, marmalade, uh, peanut butter. What else? Some fruits, depending on what you have, and of course, everybody's favorite, Oshkandela. <laughs> so this is it. And I'm going to show you the very last part. You don't need to enter. This is a garden place, so to say. You have papayas, mangoes, guavas, and they also do laundry here sometimes. And what do you think this is? Ali, what do you think this is? I have no idea. Yeah, this is... Oh, my Yes, this is how they ferment it. Yeah. This is how you get that uh, bitter or sour flavor in the mahango flour. Mm -hmm. And they do this maybe in uh, two days. They soak it under water for two days and then they wash it three or four times. Otherwise it's going to be too strong and then they grind it. And yeah, more garden space, some beans. Usually these are not in the garden, but like I said, this year it's very hot. It's very dry. So my mother decided to plant some beans here and water them because they didn't get anything in the field. And pepperoncino. <laughs> and this are the people. Ah, they are watering. Can you see that? Yes. What is that? That is um 
mahangu flower oh, drying. That's how they dry them out before they store them. And of course, some stuff that we made last time. These are marula seeds. Mm -hmm. These are the seeds. And we'll see in our other video. This is all you need to do. So guys, that was it from this house tour. What I'm gonna do, maybe turn the camera to Ali just to know that Ali is also here with us. And there he goes. Come, go a little bit on this side. Yeah, and of course, as usual, there is also Bubuchino with me in the village. And of course, the queen of the chicken. This is the new queen of the chicken. <laughs> yes, it's like just my sister who is working on everything in the house when she's on holiday. Otherwise, she's in um, high school. And when it's holiday time, she comes here and works and helps my mom. All right, let's go ciao, help. Perfect. Now we say ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao. ciao. ciao.